Hey guys, welcome back to Vectors. Here we are going to cover the last application for several tasks. We've completed previous pretty lot of stuff before. I hope you got the basic understanding how addition works. Actually, I hope that you are able to apply polygons rules, triangle rules, head to tail rule, no matter how you call it. So actually all those sets of rules is up in your toolkit, all right? And now we're just gonna go and consider another several problems dedicated. So probably they'll be different. It takes into account variance as well. And here's the first one. So using given vectors and B, find the sum. All right, so that's easy. We already did it. Just remember, in case of two vectors, we just simply need to use hat to tail rule in order to complete uh, the triangle and simply we need to attach them head to tail. So if A is the first vector, so we make a translation for vector B, keeping direction the same as well as the length. And here we go, we've got the resultant vector which goes this way that represent A plus B. Hope you understand that. Okay, so the length, by the way, the length of this vector is three cells. Okay, let's move next. They have two vectors and they intersect. So anyway, we need to attach, let's say vector B down. So basically translate down, three units down and that's B, so it has, I mean, from the starting point to the ending point, three units down. So we've translated, and now we can eliminate vector B at all. Now we've got vector A, which is here, and that's the vector B, and the same from the starting point of the very first to the ending point of the second vector, we connect them. And that's the result vector A plus B. So for example, what if you want to find angle? Because you know, the lens is pretty obvious. You just simply need to take A plus B absolute value in order to calculate the lens because this is hypotenuse. So two uh, vectors are arranged so that they arrange 90 degrees angle and just let's remind you how to do this. So we've got the right angle triangle, we've got hypotenuse as a resultant vector, and now we want to calculate according to the rule. So the length for A is three cells, so we've got three squared. What about B? Three cells down, it's also three squared. So that means we've got 18 in total, or simply three square root of two. That's the length, or magnitude. However, we are wondering about direction. So let's define theta as the angle uh, to horizontal direction. So for example, if we set up x, y set. So we're simply looking for the angle theta uh, relating to x direction. So relating to horizontal axis. All right, so let's find that. Obviously, it's negative because it's below x axis. However, the, the general, like the, the absolute value for this angle is going to be the angle in the triangle, in the right angle triangle. So we will use the tangent rule because here we're given two legs. And by the way, actually, should we do that? Now, of course, we can do a shortcut here because the length for A is equal to the length of B. So we've got triangle with two sides equal. So if one angle is 90 degrees, what can you say about angle theta? Actually, angle theta is 45. So we've got an isosceles triangle. But if you are not sure, you can figure out through tangent rule. Tangent theta is opposite. In this case, the length for B over the length for A. And that simply means that because they are equal, you'll get one. And theta is actually 45 degrees if you press 10 minus 1, or just use the standard value. 
actually because 45 degrees is standard value, tangent equals 1, so you can do it without any calculations, if you know what I mean. All right, so, but actually, relating to x direction, so angle theta is going to be negative, so that's why we are going to put negative 45. What if you set up to find bearings? All right, so we've got nose direction, which is here, and the bearings from the nose direction is going to be 90 degrees plus angle theta. So in terms of bearings, we've got bearings, bearings for our vector A plus B means from the nose direction is actually 90 plus 45 and turns out to be 135 degrees. So I hope it's clear, no problem with that, I'm definitely sure. So what if and C A plus B, how to find the total resulting vector? We see that the length for A is simply, so roughly it's three units, so that's why we translate vector A here, keeping length the same, and now just simply a plus B is the total length. So this is what is called A plus B. And the magnitude, the magnitude for A plus B is going to be, so how many cell? One, two, three, four, five, six, and three. So in total nine. So we can say the magnitude for A plus B is going to be nine cells. Okay. If you want to convert in centimeters, take into account that each two cell is simply centimeter, it's going to be 4.5 centimeters if you want to calculate in some units. All right, so the last one. So where is the result? And right now they are in not in the head to tail rule. So we're going to transfer vector. Let's try to transfer vector A. It goes from there to there. Actually, this vector a and right now i'm going to connect the very starting point so i can eliminate a because i've already transferred oops so sorry it's here that's vector a so i can kill vector that was originally and now just simply connect those two points the starting point one with the ending point of the second vector and this is A plus B.